guys, welcome to this episode of Trila. My name is Carla, beer is behind the camera, and today we are going to take you to one of the hippest and coolest dining hubs in Macau. It's actually inside a university campus, so you want to know where it is? Let's go and find out. Okay, all the way to there, to the east gate, and then this is where we're going. It's like the outdoor seating sort of dining area. It's actually my first time coming to MUSD. I've never been here before. This is sort of like a trailer park. Very similar to places we've been to like London and Seoul. Interesting. I think this is the entrance. It's semi-indoor outdoor. I think they open at 12, so we just got here. It's 12.30 now, so right on time. A lot of the shops are just still opening, setting up. Hashtag, okay. We've got barbecue noodles. This looks interesting. We're actually looking for a particular stall. It's called 853 Burgers. It should be somewhere around here. That's one of the places that we actually want to try today. Well, you never know, you know, you might find something more interesting so you can try something else. But I'm definitely looking to see what they have. That's all. Just don't know where it is. Okay, so this is one of the places that I've been seeing on Instagram. I think this is one of the very first ones that they had put up here. Wow, their hot dogs are really interesting. There's so much going on. Cheese and mushroom. Peanut butter and beef. What? This seems like a good try. Here. Okay, so we ordered our food already. We got one from A53 Burgers because it's one of the stalls that we wanted to try here. And we also got one from Road Bar Hot Dog. So we're having fast food today. <laughs> Let's hope they're good. Finally, we're here. We've been like putting off coming here. Actually, we wanted to come here for like so long already, but we've been putting off coming here because the weather is so unpredictable. Every time we want to come here, it's like it's either raining or it's super sunny, it's super hot. Like literally, I can't go out and talk under the heat. But today's, well, today's still gloomy, but it's okay. At least it's not too hot and it's not raining. So thankfully, here now. There's a lot of really interesting stalls. This is located in Macau University of Science and Technology, MUSD for short. And for a university, this is actually really interesting. I don't think any other universities in Macau that we know of have done this. It's like an open space, open to public. And you know, if I was a student here, it'd be really interesting for me to actually have this space or place for me to actually try different kinds of food. Well, I wish we had this when I was back in university uh, a long time ago. I'm old, yeah, I know, but yeah. Interesting stuff. Look at that. So we got a combo. So it comes with fries and a drink. This is their signature 853 burger. And what's so special about this burger is that the meat that they use the patty is actually dry aged beef. Here's always wanted to try dry aged beef. So we're gonna be trying that today. Hold on, I'll probably go and check on this. Okay, this is another really interesting platter right here. I thought that the hot dog was actually gonna be a bit smaller, but it's actually pretty long, it's big. I don't know if it's just the bread or the hot dog is really that big, but I doubt it. It looks like it's just the bread anyway. Okay, let's go and dig in. I am excited. So they've got disposable gloves right here. I'm gonna use it because we're gonna get our hands dirty. I'm gonna get a bite of this burger. Ooh, look at that, look at the layers. It's nicely put together. Like a big chunk of onion right there. I'm not into onions, but I'm not gonna remove it just because it looks so nice. I don't want to room in the, the whole presentation. Mmm. Mmm. Beef is so tender, really good quality. The sauce, a bit tangy, it's salty as well. 
Mm. I wonder if I'm getting spicy. I actually prefer it would be a bit more spicy. Not too salty. The vegetables are so fresh, you can really tell. The tomato is so fresh. I think they all use just fresh ingredients. You can really tell. Mm -hmm. They use some um, brioche bun. So the bun is brioche. It has the sesame seeds there, both black and white. Layers really nice. So this is a double patty, as you can see. And it is somewhat smashed burger because the patty is actually like, it's not perfectly, you know, cut. So it looks like they smash it while they're cooking it. The sauce is already tangy in itself and the pickle adds a little bit more to it. Most of the time I take out the pickle, but just because the presentation here is like so nice, layers and everything. So I don't want to take anything out of the ingredients. I think they all just go together really well. Mmm, wow. This is really good. I think I prefer this better than Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Yeah, I really do. And this is local, guys. Support local. Okay, I messed it up now. It's so dirty. It's so messy right now. Rice. It's not oily at all. Mm. Man, I'm excited to try this burger. That is really good. Not that, this one. Yeah, I feel like I can already say that I like this better than any other burger I've tried so far in Macau. That dry aged beef patty is... Mm. Mm. But you can taste the quality, not only that you can see it, but you can taste it. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but yeah, I think it's better than Shake Shack. Mm. And it's double patty with onions. Mm. There's a fly. That patty's really tender, and then the crunchiness of your onions. You got pickles. Your brioche bun. Mm. Let's try the fries. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It's not oily. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try the hot dog before Pierre does. This is from Road Bar. So this is the one with peanut butter, hot dog and peanut butter and cheese. Obviously there's like plenty of cheese there. I cannot feel the hot dog at all. Mmm, you're right. Ooh, like the combination of different flavors there is really nice. You can immediately taste the peanut butter. It's salty, kind of sweet as well. But then the saltiness of the cheese and it blends so well with the peanut butter. The texture is really nice. It's really soft, almost gooey. And then there's mushrooms as well. Oh, but the combination of flavors is really nice. I was just expecting there's gonna be a hot dog inside. This is supposed to be a hot dog. I guess it's like a hot dog bun, not a hot dog. But there's beef there, chunks of beef. And then there's bits of, I can't tell if that's actually bits of like shredded cheese or is it garlic okay the combination of flavors is all there the sauce the cheese the peanut butter but i think there's something missing I, like i feel like i want the beef to be a bit more chunky feels a bit flat but otherwise it tastes dog. great or the hot dog yeah otherwise it tastes great try the hot dog yeah i'll try that the hot dog less hot dog i'll go for one gloves with one hand because I don't want to get my camera dirty. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm lost for words. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You got peanut butter, you got cheese on top, then you got your beef underneath. It's just so soft. I mean, there's no hot dog in this hot dog bun, but 
<laughs> well, yeah, it's just so soft when you bite into it. You know how it feels like? It's like when you first dive into the ocean. It's that feeling. So. Mm. Or maybe when you're falling like to the clouds. I don't know. Mm. It feels like skydiving. Have you ever done? I've never. I've never been. How do you say that? I've never skydived before. <laughs> I've never skydiven. Well, you can try it soon. This is why I'm open up. We're done, done, done. We finished the burger. It's gone. Like, where is it? Where is it? It's gone. I'm just trying to finish my fries. There's still a few pieces left. But that was really good. Really good, right? Really good. Well, I'm gonna go do it. Place is keep after yourself. So I'm gonna bring back the trays. It's supposed to be here. I did not. Let's go. Oh, look at all these colors. It's a rainbow of colors. I'm gonna be right there. Okay, guys, that was really good. A really good meal. We loved the burger. I also like the hot dog, although it doesn't have hot dog per se, but the sauce was good. So, a thumbs up. Um, so we actually ran into one of the chefs at 853 Burgers and apparently they're planning to open a proper like dining area in Taipa. So let's all watch out for that. I'm pretty excited. Um, he, well, he told us that it's not like confirmed yet, but it might happen. So that's something to look out for. And it's possible that they might also close the stall down here once they have the Taipa store open. But we'll never know. We'll just have to wait and find out. But if that ever happens, then it's going to be so exciting because we both live in Taipa. So. It's great, it's very close to us. We don't have to come all the way to MUSD and try the burgers. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions or anything else for us to try. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!